In this tutorial, we are going to walk through how to feed your agent locator leads or contacts into your Google Contacts. So this would be any lead that enters into your CRM system, whether they are a lead that was entered manually or a lead that is generated through a website through uh, lead generation or just through forced registration, so organic leads and so on. Um, now, when you are feeding your leads into Google, uh, you may want to be able to identify which leads are coming from the CRM system. Um, so in your Google Contacts, you can easily locate those individuals if you needed to. So part of your ZAP is going to be creating and, and throwing those individuals into a group. So what you're going to want to do is create that group first on Google, um, so within your contacts. So in when you open up your browser just head on to this top right hand corner here to your google apps and you're going to search for your contacts right here once you're in your contacts you see that there's labels here that are on the side this is just kind of groups individuals so you can see here on the left hand side i have a, a couple of different groups and all you're going to do is create a new label this label is just going to be your identifier for pulling up those specific audiences so for example if i want to pull up everyone with this agent locator label i have them all right here um, so that's the first part of what you're going to do the next step is you are going to head over to zapier.com you're going to log in or create an account now because some of these zaps are multi-step zaps it does require a subscription to Zapier in order for that to happen. It is quite minimal. I believe it's $19.99 a month, uh, so nothing too insane on that front. So once you are here, you're simply gonna go to make a zap and the page is gonna load. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna search for agent locator. Now I've already used agent locator, so it's showing up in my apps. Uh, for anybody else that it's not showing there, all you're gonna do is start typing in agent locator. You're gonna see that option and select it. We are now going to create the event. So the event is what's happening. So we want the event is when a new lead comes into agent locator. So we're gonna go new lead and then click on continue. We are then going to connect our agent locator account. So if you've already done this and connected your CRM system, you will just select the account that you have. If you have not done this, you are going to need to add your account. So when you add your account, Zapier is gonna have this little pop-up window that is going to request your API key. Now, API keys are only accessible by agent locator clients that have our automated lead gen system because this is part of the automated program, essentially, in order for this to all work. Um, so how you find your API key is pretty straightforward. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your agent locator CRM and you're gonna head up to this administration tab. You're gonna go to company administration and then on the company administration, you are going to be able to see that API key for Zapier. Um, so it's gonna show right here. All you're gonna do is copy that and then back on Zapier, you're just gonna plug it in here and go, yes, continue. Um, it's then just gonna close this window, it's gonna refresh everything and away you go. Uh, so here I'm just gonna select this because I've already done all that and click on continue. Now we just need to test the trigger to make sure that it's all gonna be working all hunky-dory for us and it creates this, this you know, fake lead, so to speak, where it pulls some data from that and then all we're gonna do is click on continue and this part of the Zapier integration is complete. We now need to tell the Zapier what we're doing with this lead. Um, so the first thing that we wanna do is get it into our Google Contacts. Um, so you're gonna search for Google Contacts if it's not in your apps already. So you just type in Google. Um, if you keep on having to type for contacts, you're just gonna locate the Google Contacts. And what we wanna do is you're gonna click on the show more options because we wanna find that contact first. So in case that contact already exists, we definitely wanna find it um, and then continue. We are then gonna connect our Google account. So if your Google account is not already connected, again, you're just gonna go add new account. This pop-up will appear. You are going to select an existing Google account you have or use another account and then same idea this is going to update with that that google account and you're going to select 
that account there and go continue. We then want to search leads. So this is basically telling um, Google, how are we going to find these leads in the system? So we need to search by. So we're going to click on this, and we're going to actually search by email address. So when we're in here, it's going to give you a secondary option that pops up, and this is kind of mapping the information. So you're going to select the field that has the email. So in this case, it's this one right here. And then you just click outside the box. Now, because in many cases these leads aren't already going to exist, we are going to want Google to create a contact if it doesn't already exist. So this is where we are going to map the information and how the information from Agent Locator is going to go into Google Contacts. It's pretty straightforward. You're just going to click on here and you're going to map it. So the first name and the first name and the last name and the last name. Um, and you keep going through. You can, if there is the option, if you want to throw it in. I don't think there is all of this in here, um, but you could essentially if you if you had that information to pull. Uh, but more or less, it's the contact information. So first name, last name, phone number, email. Uh, we don't need to indicate the type of email in here. And same for phone number. You don't need to indicate what type of phone number. If you don't see it right away, just go show all options. Click on that phone number again. And the only thing that you're going to want to do down at the very bottom is in the notes section is you're going to map out the lead ID in this section. This is just going to pull it into that Google contact. So if you ever need to reference that Google that ID um, for whatever reason, it's actually in the Google contact as a note in there. So it'll say the, the contact, the, the lead ID essentially. Um, so once this is all done, we're going to click on continue. And this is kind of showing you what's going to be mapped. And then we are going to test and continue this. So now this is part is done. Everything's got a green check mark. We're good to go, but we're not done yet. We need to add the final step, which is going to tell again. So we got our first trigger action. So once they've done this, we need to now tell it to put that individual into a group. So again, we are going to go for our Google contacts. And for our event, we want to add a contact to the group. So again, this is why in Google Contact, you wanted to have that group already created. And then you're going to go continue. And then you're going to select the group, um, or select the Google account first, sorry. You're going to select your Google account. It's already going to be there because you've already you know, logged all in and connected the two together. You're going to go continue. And then you're going to choose the contact. So when you're choosing the contact, what you're going to do is you're going to go into custom and then you're going to use this field here because we're finding that Google contact within Google. So we're going to go show all options and you want the original ID of that individual is what you're looking. So this is telling Google how to find that person that may have already existed in Google contacts or was just recently created. We're then going to tell it to take that person and put it in an associated group. So all your groups are going to show here. And so I'm going to put it into the agent locator group here and then go continue. You're then going to test. And we can see that it was successful. And then all you're going to do is turn on your zap. Um, now before, or you can even edit after, one thing you are also going to want to do is name your zap. So this is going to be so that you can understand what each zap is in your dashboard. Uh, if you start building, you can see I have several here. Um, so the new, basically the names just pop up here. So you can clearly find those individuals and kind of go from there. So to test to see how this works, uh, what I'm going to do is go into my CRM system. And I'm going to create a lead, essentially. Uh, so I'm just going to manually add a lead and put in the name. So, you know, showing Zapier. And because it's, it doesn't matter, it could, be, it could be fake information. I don't, uh, this is just for demonstration purposes, of course. So once I've just thrown in some contact information, I am just going to save this lead. Now it is fairly quick for it to show up in your Google Contacts. So when I am here in Google Contacts, I'm just going to, I'm already in my agent locator label here. So you can see that all these people all have that agent locator label. And I'm just gonna refresh. 
And we can see here that that new lead has been created in Zapier with that tag agent locator. And that is how you create a lead or feed a lead from agent locator CRM system into your Google contacts. Should you require any help or any require any assistance, please contact support at agentlocator.ca.